to Never Game Over Podcast, Florida's number one gaming podcast that is uploaded bi-weekly on Saturdays. We are on iTunes, YouTube, Spotify, Podbeam. Like us, watch us, rate us, tell your friends about us, tell your dog, tell your bearded dragon, tell your monkey, Komodo dragon, tell your, what's another animal? What's another animal? What's another animal? Uh, seahorse. Sea, seahorses, sharks, the Atlantis, uh, 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 jellyfish, you ever seen a, a, a shrimp shark? Not a shrimp shark, a mantis, a, a, a shrimp. Mantis that, shrimp. Mantis, you ever seen a mantis shrimp? Those are strong. Anyway, tell them about us. Tell them about Florida's number one gaming podcast, Never Game Over Podcast, baby. Or timestamps, so you can just jump around, do whatever you please. If you want to, yes, no, maybe. Hey, but we got a great show. We got Steam Deck on deck. We got God of War, GTA, Destiny Showcase, and so much more. And as always, I'm your host with the most, me, Bryce, the lavish one. Hopefully you guys like me. If not, hey, it's cool. It's cool. I'm cool with it. I don't, I don't mind it. Me. Bryce Armour. And I got the one, the only. He got his Steam Deck. He got his Steam Deck. Gibby mother fucking, fucking sang. sang. I shouldn't have cursed in, in within the time frame, Who but it's okay. Fuck? It's okay. We do our own rules. Exactly. We do what we want. We do what we please. We're here. We're back. Hey. Back at it again, baby. Ooh, ooh. I'm hyped. I'm ready. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. Well, we're back. You know, per usual, life gets gets in the way. But hey, you can see my shorts. I don't wear shorts on here. I wear shorts often. So you do. I usually just wear pants most of the time. Uh, speaking about pants, my pants don't fit me anymore. That bro. I know. I don't like it. I hey, jog. Was that a lie? I stopped. I stopped. I stopped. I got I got lazy. I'm sorry. That's what happens when you find love. I <laughs> <laughs> I I'm I'm fat. I'm fat. Even even Boo is like Look at this, bro. This is fat. You're not you're not at my stage yet. Well, I'm not. I mean, I'm not that bad either. I no. am, I am pretty overweight. Uh, I think I'm like 180, maybe. 195. Oh, we're not too far behind. You're taller than I am. So. True. But none of my pants fit me. I was going to throw them away. But she's like, no, keep them. Keep them. You're going to lose weight. I'm like, oh, okay. okay. So I like the confidence. I do. I'm like, thank you. <laughs> but I think some of them are, one of them is like 32 by 32. And that's, that's an old ass pants. Yeah. Out. I'm like, I don't think I can fit that realistically. I'm, I'm really a 32. I think you should go. I think everyone should go through like a six month to a year closet. Just uh-huh. go through your shit you don't need. Donate so it. most of my closet, most of these shirts do fit me. 90% of them. I would say that 10% do not fit me. One of the long sleeves I wear, it's too tight to me. So I got to get rid of it. Uh, but but 90% of my, my short sleeve shirts, they're, they're perfectly fine. It's just my pants that do not fit me. I used to be 32 I used to be 32, 30, but I'm like, this feels too tight. I think I need to go up one size. But then again, I am a fat boy. So, or chubby boy, husky, as one would say. So I'm trying to uh, work on that. I'm trying to, I'm trying to run, trying to, but I am not. So I'm staying home playing <laughs> video games. But I, I did get the ring fit adventure game. Oh, for the Switch. That's just a that, workout, bro. Hmm. That's a good idea. That's a video game. That is a, that is technically a video game. That is Workout. a video game. So you're you're working out and you're playing your video games and having you're having fun. fun. There you go. <laughs> oh, what is up, man? Everything good? good. Yes. Vibe check. Ah, I'm ready to pod, man. You don't you don't know. I'm ready to fucking pod. I gotta I can start the vibe check if you want. I gotta. We gotta. I'm not I. We got a good show for you guys. Check us out on YouTube. If you want to see your beautiful faces. So vibe hey. check. Like I said, everything's been going good. Girl started um cool so oh, that's been what 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 what's the grades what we got first grade right we have a no second grader okay have a fourth grader okay have a sixth grader whoa wait a minute. whoa middle school all right whoa yeah. so yeah that, that's been pretty whoa. fun and interesting the last couple of weeks just trying to get through all that stuff ready um going through school supply shopping how's that 
expensive. I bet. But it's it's it wasn't too bad, but it was expensive. Um that's one thing that prevented me from my Steam Deck is I want to get a memory card so I can just, you know, boost it up and do other things with it. Um right now I'm going off the main memory that's on there, but school supplies come first, so True. Now I got to save up for that memory card. Um, How much is a memory card? I was looking at a 512 gig. It was about or 256 was like 30 bucks. And then like a terabyte is like a hundred dollars something like that. I'm I'm sure you, I you can, you remember the Vita memory fucking oh, cards. Holy was, fucking yeah. man! If, if people don't know, they were like one a hundred bucks for sixty four gig. Yes. I'm like I'm yeah. not paying I'm not paying a hundo for a fucking memory a card. Priority card, yeah. Yeah, and it was it. it what sucked is you had, you had to have, you had yeah. to have a Vita uh, uh, memory card. And then one day, as it started dying, RIP the Vita, uh, they're like, hey, here's a massive sale. I got that shit for like probably 30 or 40 bucks. I was like, fuck yeah. And I got me a 64 gig. So that's not bad. No, no, no. So that's pretty uh, sure good or lenient that, that they're not, memory cards aren't expensive. Yeah, they're not that expensive right now. They're expensive enough to, especially if you, depending on what you're trying to do with the Steam Deck. Um, they can get expensive, but I just want to have enough memory there just to not run out. But other than that, I mean, just been dealing with school stuff. Um, I was going back work. It's crazy. Work's been crazy. So I've been putting mad hours into my job. Besides that, I mean, everything's been going good with me, man. Yes. What about you? Same, same shit. Nothing. Uh, still thinking about last time I talked about was a uh, RRR. I cannot stop thinking about that. I cannot stop recommending this movie to people. I hope our audiences audience please watch RRR it's an it's an Indian film but it's beautiful I always say if you like Fast and the Furious you should like this movie you should you should in, in theory because my my co-worker said you are correct they should like it but it's a foreign film but I'm in the argument of like that 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 doesn't make sense because Fast and the Furious is dumb over the top shit. Why can't they like this movie? He broke it down to me. I'm like, I, I still fight him on it, but I, I understand, I understand why. Yeah. Because I did, I did recommend it. I thought it froze. No, no. But I we did, did watch. I mean, if anybody out there that has kids, we did watch the Lightyear movie, the okay. Buzz Lightyear movie that came out. It's on Disney How Plus was, now. Was, it was pretty good actually. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. Is a, this is a, a lot of people were like fucking bitching about the lesbian kiss scene on that. That was literally like in the beginning of the movie for like ten seconds. Like they kiss and move on. Like it wasn't even anything major. But there was a lot of like slack, I guess, from Disney adding that in there. Sure. Which, I mean, it wasn't like they were fucking banging, banging. like it was scissoring. Just, yeah. <laughs> and then I'm like, yo, what are we doing? So, you know? um, but it, that was good. And then we saw Luck, the the, okay. the new Apple movie. Okay. Uh, I think that one's out on the Apple. Mm. That's the app that they use, Apple TV. I don't. I do not use Apple. But the Apple Besides streaming my, service, pretty okay. much. They have okay. It on that Apple. One. Yeah, I think you're Apple. I think it's Apple Plus or Apple. Some shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we saw we we saw both of those movies. Uh, highly recommend them for people that have kids. Um, both phenomenal movies, especially if you like if you're an adult and you like Pixar movies. Like the Buzz Lightyear one's pretty cool because it's pretty much. Remember the first Toy Story movie? You know when yeah. Annie gets Buzz, like it's it's birthday. He's all excited yeah, yeah, for getting this Buzz, and you're like, "What the fuck's the hype about him getting this Buzz toy?" All of a sudden, it's the movie that he watched that made him fall oh, in love with Buzz. Okay, so that's the movie that you're seeing is the movie that Andy saw as a kid. Oh, so that's pretty that's cool. pretty cool. Um, uh, back to RRR. Uh, I try recommending. I've been recommending to everyone. Everyone's everyone seen it. It's phenomenal. Like wow. I sent it. I recommended to one guy, but I didn't. I didn't know. I was like, "Hey, do you like Fast and the Furious?" He's like, "Uh." He said no, but I assumed he did. He watched it. He's like, I don't like this. This is too over the top. And I was like, I wanted to spit in his face. I'm like, this movie is is a is a masterpiece. And I'm again, I am trying, I am trying not to oversell this movie to you, but how it is, it it is amazing. It is so. From, I just, uh, from our conversation during breakfast, uh, when you said that the best movie is Napoleon Dynamite. Napoleon uh, Dynamite. I'm like, that's uh, <laughs> man. You're, you're, not, you're not you're not pleading your case here for this fucking RRR movie. But I, uh, but I, I know where you're coming from. You, I feel like you would like it. I feel like our movie taste is pretty similar to 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 an extent. Um, but it's you like Crank, right? Yes. Think of it. Think think of RRR like Crank, but like ten times over the top, crazy. I, I, again, I cannot stop thinking about it. It's it's a good movie. It, it is. 
it's legit. I keep saying it's a good movie, but it's a legit good movie from story wise, from the cinematography, from from the plot, the acting. Like it is good. It is like legit good. I know I'm overselling it like crazy, but it <laughs> it actually is so fucking good. Um, but for the most part, I I just been hanging out, chilling, um, playing games. Um, I guess we can tie this in. Uh, I, I kind of subscribe to the PlayStation uh, Plus Plus. Uh, there, you have your three tiers. You have your regular. Then you have your uh, medium, and then you have your god tier. And god, we'll call it god tier. I, I subscribe to the god tier uh, one, where you can uh, do the trial, try out games, and also do cloud save. And uh, and with uh, uh, cloud co- save or cloud based, both uh, cloud based. I'm sorry, cloud because cloud save is yeah. yeah. Mm, it, it comes with it um but i was my my biggest uh worry was uh, latency the latency because again this is years ago when playstation was like hey you could there's playstation now, now. playstation yeah, now yeah. like hey stream our games uh in the cloud i was like okay uh did that that was like nine bucks a month and i was like oh shit god of war ascension is on there let me play that played it the latency was so fucking horrendous maybe it was because of my end because i had shitty internet back then but they were chanting like oh it's really good well they were also chanting like it's okay but still try your service i was like all right tried it i was like yo this is bad this is cloud streaming games over the internet it's gonna be fucking trash besides i think um what was the google one the google their streaming service where you can play on the windows Stadia. Stadia. I heard Stadia is pretty stellar. They don't really support it, but that that was really good for them. Um, but they Google didn't back them, so they're fucking doing bad, I guess, in a way. Um, but I've seen more of the Amazon Aluna. I think it's their stream, their gaming streaming service. I Amazon Prime has one. I've seen that one more over Stadia. Stadia died out, but it, it's still I, around, but not really. They don't again. They don't support it. Like it, it was doing fairly good in theory. Like for the most casual gamer, yeah, that that's like that's the ideal. Like, oh, okay, let me go on my computer and play Assassin's Creed, play uh, Valhalla, Destiny, X Y Z, like whatever. Yeah, that's ideal. But they just didn't support it. Like I guess their number base, they're like, fuck it. It wasn't there. It wasn't there. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyway, uh, played some. What did I play? Motor Storm Apocalypse. If you remember that, I played that. Ran fucking smooth. I was like, all right, Lacey's not that terrible. Again, I have really good internet now, but um, no, no complaints so far. I played, I played um, what, what's what's this game? It's a racing game, and, and you're on wheels. It starts with a K. Our game. Uh, no, no, no. You're a human on wheels. Trying to give uh, uh, I starts with a K. It was a PlayStation Two game. Um, you where where you could jump off. It's like almost like SSX, where you you have ramps and you can do cool crazy tricks. No, forgot the not fucking game. Bell, Damn. Um, played that again. Lane C's not bad, so it's pretty good. And I'm like, oh okay, let's. I, I'm with this. Um, but at the same time, I like owning my games. So I'm in the weird zone. I'm like, wow, there's a lot of fucking cool games on here. At the same time, I'm like. I want to own these at the same time. So I'm in, a, I'm in a weird, weird bubble. I like this service because the only reason why... So, hey, are those the only two games you tested? So far. Because um, I was playing God of War, which I'll get into a little bit. Because um, the only reason why I got to the PlayStation service um, subscribed to is because I wanted to buy uh, Miles Miles Morales, Spider-Man, and I wanted to buy Returnal, and I was about to spend 100 bucks. And I'm like, wait, I can just pay 50 bucks for the whole year for the playstation plus uh, essential i will get miles morales and i will get um returnal returnal for 50 bucks that's a that's a like why why wouldn't i do that you know it's kind of (laughs) dumb a a little bit like why um someone we got to add to the show i think he does it is jova because jova i think i think jova takes advantage of that um, he is a he's a PlayStation. I think so. I remember he was playing Miles Morales. He was playing all those other games. I didn't know he was a subscriber. Back back. I don't know. I'm th- I'm thinking he is, but I, I want to get his input on it too. Mm. So because for me, again, I'm in a ballpark, or we we both of us are in a ballpark of like we like owning our games. This is a good service, and there are some games I want to play a, a little bit, but I'm, um, again, like Returnal. That's the only one I really want to play, and, and Miles, and that's about it. But I was really re-looking at the games that are on the list. Now I'm like, oh shit, I do, I'm do. i playing Bioshock right now. They have Bioshock 2 remastered on there. I'm like, oh shit, fuck the PC version. I don't <laughs> I don't trust that anymore after my uh, 
a horrendous playthrough of playing it on the PC. Um, there, there are there, there, they have Alone in the Dark in there. There, there are games now. I'm like, okay, I would recommend this service even for maybe the hardcore gamer like us, or, or, or most likely I would definitely recommend it for the casual gamer. Like, hey, play, check these games out. Um, again, still on the fence uh, on if I want to if I want to renew this next year, depending on what the lineup is. Because um, I'm I'm thinking about, I might. Uh, unsubscribe to my game pass because i'm not i'm not really touching it i had my phase where like oh shit let me play it but now i'm like i'm not even i don't even fucking touch game pass it is a good service again i think we talked about this in another pod where it's like there are too many games you know i'll play it for a little bit i'm like all right move on to the next one um i feel like i'm not getting my money's worth because i'm always going to the next game if this is trash all right next one this is trash next one you know well you can get your money's worth in trying out new games yeah so there's there's a pro and a con to it yeah compared to I don't know. I, I look at it as like, I don't know how I look at it. I, I, I feel like I'm just moving on to the next move on, on and on and on. Um, compared to, I guess, me buying a game, I'm going to, I, I see what you're saying. It, yeah, it is a pro and con. I don't know. I'm in, indifferent about this. I think it's just the way that we ca- we, we catalog our games or we mm. own them. It's, it's, it, it, it may not be too much bang for a buck for us. Mm. And that's why I said it's for, it, it, it's ideally best for people that don't have a very large catalog of games where they can g- they can try such a large variety of games yeah. and, and and be like, all right, this is a service I want to stick to all the time. And I don't mind because one of the issues you run into, like you buy all these PS5 games six years from now, another console comes out. You know what I mean? People sell their console, the current console, get the next console. Then it's like, all right, I can't play those games anymore. But they're on this subscription service where I could keep playing previous generation games on. Yeah, so I see benefits of it. Unlike us that we keep a lot of our shit. I mean, it's. It doesn't make sense for us. It's like, I'm going to be playing all these shits and never own them where we prefer to own them. So there's, like I said, there's pros and cons to both. Yeah, and I, I think this is still new for for us, for this live service game. Again, this is like year two. This is this is fairly new for 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 uh, um, streaming games or, or uh, this, this service. Um, fuck, I lost my train of thought. Because uh, Gamefly, that was, Gamefly tried it. And we're like, that's what the fuck is this? We People want to own our games, but... We 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 slowly transition into this this this. Uh, well, you see everything becoming subscription based. Oh, absolutely. You know I mean? Think so, about Adobe. If you you know if you're running programs like that, Microsoft Word, like any of those uh, utility programs, now they're all subscription based. Mm. Look at your shows and your movies. Yeah, uh, subscription based. Now your video games. Yeah, subscription based. So it's that's just the the trend mm-hmm. that today's world's in now. Yeah. Um. But it's again not definitely not knocking it. It is. It is. It is uh, I'm. I am still having sure fun with this service. Uh, it's just that back in my mind, I'm like, damn, you're not. You're not really owning these games, you know. And once it's gone, it's gone, Bryce. That's it. Um, so if, if I, I, I've been, I've been thinking, I'm like, if I do like to, if I do like this game a lot, then I will pay X amount for whatever. So because I, I wanted to support the 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 team, uh, the, the the developers, you know, even though Sony paid them X amount of money, I still want to give. Yeah, I think a good a good to to what you just said. I don't mean to cut you off. No, no, you're good. It's uh, it's almost like cinephiles, people that enjoy movies. There's people out there that still go out there and buy the Blu-rays, mm-hmm. or you could just pay twelve, fifteen dollars a month and stream it. Yeah, you know what I mean, where it's like. You can get, you know, you can have, you can have it both ways yeah. depending on which way you like it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, actually, I do do that with like, if I like, I'm only buying DVDs that I actually like, you know, obviously Netflix has a billion movies, but if I really like this movie, like the raid, I want to, <laughs> I want to go get that. Uh, any Christopher Nolan movie, I'm definitely going to collect all those movies, you know, depending on the movie I really, really like. So See, uh, for me, I always like preferring owning my things. Cause there are times, especially we live in Florida, the fucking thunder, yeah. Was it the thunderstorm capital of the world? Yeah. Where I, there's been times in the recent storms where I'll lose the internet for like an hour or two. So if I had those stream based services, like, fuck, I can't do anything and, until my internet's back. And that's what worries me because I remember one time I, uh, this PlayStation network went down. This happens once in a blue moon, but it happened to me where I, all my games were, were, were downloaded, you know? And then they're like, I wanted to play persona. I downloaded. And then they're like, uh, nah, you can't play it because our network is down. I was like, Oh fuck this seat. This is the dilemma of downloading your video games. I get why people are not have, downloading them well, off well, a subscription. Uh, based no, no, no. They, they, it was their PlayStation network was down. If I owned physical persona, I would be able to play that, it. Oh, okay. okay yeah. That, mean. that aspect of it. Um, again, I'm, I'm in the ballpark of, I like digital. I don't like fucking clutter, but 
after seeing that, this was like years ago though, I forgot, like 2017, I don't know why the PlayStation Network was down, uh, but I was like, oh fuck, now I get why people say, no, I wanna have a physical copy because I'm fucked, I can't play Persona, but you can, because you have a physical disc of it, so fuck you, get fucked. And, and it's, it's always that worry for, obviously, Steam, Epic, uh, um, yeah, especially for Steam and Epic or, or anyone. Yeah, Steam goes down right now and my games like, aren't downloaded. Yeah, my, uh, I'm fucked. Yeah, everyone, everyone's fucked. Um, unless you have like a fucking backup and storage them, you know. Yeah, it's a crazy catalog. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I got like fucking 40 terabytes worth yeah, of space yeah, yeah. to do my so entire that, that's Steam always a, that, That's always a worry and a factor I always play on my head, but but not... That, that's a rare, 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 rare occasion that, that could possibly... It could, it, honestly... If, if Steam wanted to, they could flip a fucking switch. Everyone's fucked. You're like, all right, whatever. See you guys later. We, we're we selling out. See ya, you know? Um, but I always think about that. Um, but I, 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 anyway, overall, it's a cool service. I, I'm, I'm enjoying it for the most part. I want to get into it a little bit more. Um, but those are the games I've been, I have been playing. Um, again, the catalog's pretty stellar. Um, I think we bash on it a little bit, but re-looking at it, I'm like, oh, there are games I want to play. They have Assassin's Creed well, on I'm there. bashing at it, not looking at the... <laughs> not actually physically <laughs> yeah. using it, uh, so... Yeah, um, well, I think we were, because, again, most of those games that we listed were like, we played fucking half these games already. Like, we... What's the point of this service? This isn't a, a, appeal to me. I, I, like, why am I going to play... a PS3 game? We're in, we're in, the, we're in the new. Like, we're... we're in, I have a PS5. I don't want to play old games. I want to play new games. Um, even with the uh, PlayStation 5 games, you got Avengers, you got Stray, the cat game of uh, Halos on there. Played it? No, not yet. I, I do want to check it out. Um, Final Fantasy VII Remake is on there, including the DLC as well. So th the service is fucking stellar. Like you're gonna, you are gonna get your bang for your buck with this if you go either your your basic tier or your or not the godlike tier, but the medium tier. Like you, you'll get your bang for your buck. Um, but it's cool, man. I, I'm I'm fairly enjoying it. Um, again, I got a whole year's worth, so I f this is Sony's first time doing this. Um, I feel like they will improve on this. They, they have Sony has a massive fucking catalog. It's just gonna take time. Um, probably like next year or maybe six months down the down the line. Uh, we will that 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 there, those games will be like fucking immaculate. Like oh shit, yes, I want to play X Y Z game on on this service. It is it is worth my money. Um, but yeah, that's about, that's why I've been playing. I also have been playing God of War, the reboot version of it. That game is pretty fucking stellar. Very emotional. I think it's more emotional. Mm, no, not really. I was going to say more emotional than The Last of Us, but not really. Um, I think it is for me. I hear in storytelling, it's up there, though. So that's the thing, because we know Kratos as an angry son of a gun. Fucking no emotion. Fuck you. I'm killing you. I hate you, Father Zeus. Uh, I hate everyone. Ah, anger. I think it's more emotional because you see Kratos not be so angry, showing emotion towards his son, showing that he cares about his, his son, showing that he cares about himself, um, what he's doing, like his 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 wife, you know? Um, he's mourning in, in a way, and that's emotional. It, it's something completely different from all the Kratos games that we've seen. Yeah, his is more anger. It's not there. Sadness converted into anger. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I think it's, that's why I say, or thinking, that's why I think it's more emotional than The Last of Us, just from that aspect, because we've seen we've seen Kratos, <laughs> how he is and how he acts. Um, and the gameplay is stellar. I was playing on uh, Give Me a Challenge, because it's uh, basic play story, medium, hard. I think it's hard, and then Give Me a Challenge. I was playing Give Me a Challenge, because I wanted a challenge. I was like, fuck it, let's go. That's a fucking challenge, bro. A lot of those games that have that mode, it's fucking wow. hard. Wow. Because I remember playing that on The Last of Us. Uh -huh. I forgot what the challenge is called. Gr but it's, Grounded mode? Yeah, grounded mode or whatever you, it is. You don't see... There's no HUD. Yep. You can't keep track of your ammo. You you know, ammo oh. super scarce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scarce. Or scarce. Um, So you have to keep track of like... You know, should I shoot this person? Should I walk by them? Do I beat them up? But if I beat them up, I'm going to alert everybody around me. Yeah, it made the game a lot more challenging. I've been meaning to play that on grounded mode, but I'm like, oh, I got I to gotta get fucking I got to get in the, in the fucking it's fucking hard in the mode to to play that because um, it does sound like a challenge. It seems fun um, playing God of War on give me a challenge. It, it You get fucked hardcore in the beginning of that game because it's so goddamn hard. Um, but once you get past a certain What's challenging on it, though, aren't you have so less health or is it just more the enemies are enemies, tougher enemies take way more hit and hit harder and you take way. I'm assuming you take way more um, 
way more damage. And there was a certain part where I was fighting uh, these big, uh, they're called Drog, I think Drogger Brutes. I'm pretty sure I'm mispronouncing this name, but um, they're, they're big brute guys. And I was low on health. I was low on my Spartan uh, Super Saiyan. Um, and he just kept fucking me up. And there, there is a parry system, but I'm fucking trash at parry, which is nice because when um, you have two, two indicators that say you can parry, if it's in red, you cannot parry. You can block, but you could take a, a, a small amount of damage. But if it's a yellow parry, you can parry it, and then uh, they're stunned. And you can either, um, once you upgrade your tier list, you can either punch them away with your shield, or you can do a, a ground stop, and it stuns them right then and there. I was punching them away because I I needed them to to recuperate. I was like, fuck this, man, you're kicking my ass. Um, but once I got to the central hub area, it was kind of easy a little bit um because everything's level based um it kind of it, it actually if you if you grind uh you can over level these fucks and you'll just dominate which i did i was like fuck it i'm gonna do every side quest that i need to do so i can be over level because who doesn't love being over leveled you want to fucking just just breeze through it not have much of a challenge um doing that the skill trees trees the skill trees <laughs> the skill trees are pretty stellar um I didn't use them because I'm, I'm I'm trash at remembering combos. I'm just pressing X. Like, that's <laughs> like, it. Let's let's go because it's like, hey, if you uh, press X, if you press X, if you press square, square, pause it for a little bit. You do this. I'm like, no, no. I'm just gonna fucking just choo 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 because I'm I'm doing challenge mode. I'm not thinking about combos. I want to fucking survive. That's all I'm trying to do. Um, did that. Uh, the side quests were pretty cool. And also with God of War, this is um North. North North mythological, what's the mythology? North North, North, North myth mythology. Mythology. But so you got your all I know is Thor. Uh, that's the only person that I Odin Thor. I don't Loki. know who Odin is. Uh, I know the world serpent. Okay, uh, Loki? Just, just just from my and Loki, just from my knowledge. Um, so that's pretty cool. I I, I at first I was like, mm, I don't know about this world. It's cool to see um, Kratos in this world because he's a Spartan, and which is cool. Not my. Not really. Don't spoil it too much. I haven't played much of it. It's not really. I, it's a cool thing because um, it's a nice callback because a certain enemy comes to your your home and he's like, "I know who you are. I know where you came from." I'm like, "Oh shit, that's a cool callback because he is from Greek. You know, why are you here?" Um, there's just there are minor if there are minor callbacks, but it doesn't. You still don't feel left out. If no one, if no one ever played the previous God of Wars, you will still know what the What's hell. Going on. Yeah. So, which is, that's really cool. Again, if you know this knowledge, like it makes it like ten times better. You're like, oh my god, like yo, how does he know? You know. Um, trying to think of what else. Uh, side quests were pretty. I didn't know there. I didn't know there were side quests. There were side <laughs> side quests in this game because uh, I thought because there is a hub uh, in here, but I didn't think there would be side quests that you can do. But there is. Um, then there are these cool um they're, they're these little sure mini bosses that you come across they're called valkyries and um there are different types of valkyries one of them was like a fire valkyrie one of them was like a really quick brute valkyrie so one of them was a brute uh, valkyrie and I, 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 even though i'm still playing on challenging i'm at a certain level it was still challenging but it was still fun um and once you complete that, uh, you getting you getting more gear, more XP levels. You got a scam likely calling you over here. <laughs> the scammer alone. <laughs> um, the Valkyrie challenge were pretty cool. Uh, enemy designs were pretty fucking stellar too. Um, just the whole game was 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 really great. My biggest gripe with that game so far was even though the combat is pretty fluid, it's a third person. No fixed camera angles like the previous God of Wars. No, it's over your head. Not over your head. Over your shoulder. Um, you have a... I don't know, I don't know my controller. You have, you have a... Yeah, you can use that controller. It's pretty similar. Um, so you're, you're, you're fighting or whatever, but for you to do like a... You do like a, like a quick turn, you gotta press down on your D-pad, which is really awesome. off... Or 90 degrees, 180? Like 180, you do a 180, which is off-putting because you don't want to take your fingers off the controllers just to, you know, like, oh, fuck. It's, it's like, a, not a delay, but you have certain quick enemies that are, like, fucking coming at you. You're like, oh, fuck, where are you? D-pad, and you, 
you try to lock on it like once you do your 180 like he's over here on your left side so you gotta like turn it's just kind of weird a little bit granted i was playing on challenging so like that was only my frustration with that game uh but other than that it felt good the combat felt nice fluid mm. storytelling was was excellent i i really really enjoyed it i don't know why it took me three times to beat this game i kept dropping it for some reason don't know why um uh, maybe i wasn't feeling i think i wasn't feeling it um dropped it off came back wasn't feeling it again i was like you know what the second one's coming out like i i really I, i'm really enjoying this let me just sit down and I just replayed it. I was like, all right, cool. I'm, I'm glad I, I finally did it. Um, and yeah, it's a hell of, hell of a game. I, I'm, I'm digging it. It's on PlayStation. It's on the PC right now, guys. Um, if you're a PlayStation Plus member, it's in there for free. It's dirt cheap as well, like 20 bucks. Um, for the PlayStation on the PC, it's like 50 bucks. So definitely, yeah, definitely. Like $40, I think. 40, 50 bucks. Yeah. Um, definitely, definitely, definitely worth a, a, a playthrough. Um, yeah, man. I'm excited for the second one. Um, even though I beat it, um, there's still stuff I, I want to do. I still have some challenges. I still have collectibles, which are fun. I think I'm going to plan this game because I, 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 I was casually just uh, uh, doing collectibles and I, I got like almost 100% on like each area I got. I was like, oh shit, might as well just plan this fucking game. So, hell of a game. Hell of a game. And um, also, I've been playing some uh, Metal Gear. Metal Gear Solid. I'm playing Extreme. If you check out the, the, the YouTube version, check out the, the other... Uh, playthrough i'm doing like two episodes are up right now and let me tell you it's fucking hard playing on i can see that playing on extreme is no fucking joke folks uh first time doing on extreme played metal gear solid numerous times when i was a kid but on normal and i was like you know what let's play through it but on expert and on expert you uh you don't have a radar you enemies hit harder um there's not a lot of rations which i'm starting to notice i'm like what the fuck where are <laughs> like I know certain areas that drop rations, but they don't they're not dropping them there. I could be wrong, but I feel like there isn't enough rations. Um and I'm just getting murked. I'm just getting murked. Check out the 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 playthrough. Two episodes are up right now, and I'm just Wow. My controller died, even though it was it was it was plugged in and it was charged, but I was in an intense moment where it died, died. and I'm like, what the fuck, bro? What do we like fucking A, man? So watch it. Watch it. Check it out. There's a little, a little click on the link right here. Maybe I don't. I don't fucking. I don't know. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Hell of a game. I'm having. I'm even though I'm str <laughs> even though I'm struggling. I'm still having fun with it. So, what's up with you? What's up with this? Show us. Show us that steam. Show us that dick. I oh, mean, show steam. and tell for those guys. Show and tell, baby. Woo. Wrong one. There we oh, go. There we go. Hey. Oh, screen's a little dirty. But look, I finally got it. Finally got my steam deck. I've been enjoying the absolute shit out of it. It's become my, like most people say, it, it is true though. This has become like my main source of gaming mm -hmm. has been my Steam Deck. How convenient much. has it uh, came for you? It's been super convenient, especially you're, with you're, kids. I'm going to say, you're, you're a man of four I'm kids. I'm a man of four, four kids. It's hard for you to sit down on your PC and play. I'm like, oh, dad, and you're like, fucking kids, I love you. What, what, <laughs> what yeah. do you want? <laughs> so being able to actually play the Steam Deck, um, in other areas and enjoy some of my games that I know because I'm a I'm primarily a PC gamer. Mm. So being able to have my game library once in a while a PS3 or four. Yeah, yeah, I once dabble a, in old school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Primarily, if I can yeah. get the games on PC, I'll just rebuy them on PC and just play mm. them off there. Um, but it's been great. Um, I've been able to at least go outside of my back porch. It's screened in at night, so no bugs getting on me. Enjoying playing it out there. I've also been enjoying playing my Vita. Uh, show the difference in it yeah comparing it uh i've been i've been playing out there I, i've been picking up since my kids started school i've been picking them up probably if, you, if, you, if you're watching the video version you'll see bryce comparing the size of his vita watch the video version to steam watch Deck. the video version check it out you can see our faces yeah um but i've been playing it waiting for my, to pick up my kids from school uh, i gotta join the car line so i'm normally there for like an hour and a half Steam decking it the whole time. Like as soon as I get in the car, like yesterday, my daughter, my oldest daughter, was like, "Dad, can I play?" I was like, "Yeah, go ahead." So, I mean, we've been enjoying the shit out of it. The only thing I haven't tested out is the dock mode. Um, I want to test out in my living room. You know what I mean? Because play a couple games, and I have a lot of party games that are on my Steam library. So I wanted to test that out. I just haven't had the uh, ability to yet. Um, 
Yeah, Steam Deck. It, it's 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 been my way to play literally since I've gotten it. So. Um, and most most of your games are compatible for the Steam Deck, correct? Yeah, I think I have seven hundred and ninety eight games overall in my Steam library. Out of those, the ones that Steam deems veri- <laughs> uh, verified and playable, I think it's like four hundred and forty eight of those okay. games you, are. You available. can like your example. We we're playing Inscription it is playable. It's but, playable, but but, it, but not controller based. Playable. Exactly. I was telling you off mic where I was like, "Yeah, it's play like," which is odd because it's on PS5, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right and now. I, would th- I would think that the controls would switch <laughs> over. They don't. Yeah. Um, but no, even it's... even like so, like I, I own all the Arkham games. The only game that's verified to run is Arkham City. Um, but I've seen playthroughs of other people like getting them to run. All you got to do is switch the Proton that it's using. Which what is, is pro- that? You keep saying that word. All right, so like, Proton is pretty much. It's the best way to describe it is, you know that Steam OS operates on Linux, right? Linux okay. is a different operating system than Windows, right? Proton it basically spoofs it to run those Windows necessary files. That's the best way to describe it. So there's different different builds of Proton that allow you to run certain Microsoft base um, necessary like DirectX and shit like that that doesn't run on Linux. Okay. It's pretty much allowing it to run on Linux through proton which uses windows proprietary um software okay but there's different versions of proton that you can use to get different games to run on linux gotcha so all the arkham's are technically deemed um not like not not even non-playable like they say they don't run on here but if you get the right proton you can get it to run and i've seen people like so more than even though the steam there's verification process says only half of my libraries able to be played on here almost my entire library could be played on there okay minus a few games that like like PUBG that needs anti-cheat um installed you can't on play there. that no because i think battle eye the developers of the game have to allow battle eye to run on linux and it's just from what i hear it's just like a uh like imagine the c i'm the ceo of PUBG. i'm like turn it on they turn it on and then I can run it on Linux pretty okay. much. So they have to have that option enabled first for us to run it on here. Same thing with Bungie. Yeah. You can't so like Multiverse, it's a multiplayer game that runs an anti-cheating software. They got it to run on Linux. So I can run Multiverse on my Steam Deck and play online, no issues. And that's primarily how I've been running Multiverse is on my Steam Deck. So You said you're 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 playing Alwake and you're having a Oh yeah, issue. so there is a verified the so the verification thing for Steam is not always that accurate. So Alan Wake shows up on here as um what do you call it uh verified so alan wake shows up on my steam deck very verified you're gonna play it it does but i don't know if it's a specific issue where i just got to switch proton on it even though everything runs per like flawlessly the one thing that i noticed was if there's enemies on screen and you go to aim at them with your flashlight this like half 50% opac- uh, 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 what you, uh, opacity okay um so like it's half see through um, oh shit That's like square really okay. just I show, know. like if this oh. is the size like all right uh, for people who are watching the video leave the camera just where it's at right now okay so imagine this is what you're seeing right here is the video game like we're part of the video game imagine like a a fucking half transparent gray square covers up half the screen so you can't physically really see behind there, but that's where all the enemies are. So when I'm trying to fucking hit you with a flashlight, if there's more than one person, because I can see like an, a shadow of the person, uh-huh. but if there's people behind you, I can't aim at them. So I get fucked up nonstop. So I ran it on my computer. It doesn't show Perfect. up there. Of course. It's only on the Steam Deck. So I think there's a Linux issue there. So even though the game's verified and everything else, there are some quirks to some of the verified games. You just got to test them out for yourself and see. Um, cause I think like, I know one of the known one is inside the, what's that one game? Uh, uh something zero Dawn Horizon horizon. Yes. Horizon is completely playable, but at the very end of the steam deck, you're playing it on steam deck. There's something happens that corrupts the file and then you lose everything. Oh, that's scary. Yeah. So that's you, scary. there, there's some things that don't happen to later on in the game. That's so there's still some quirks to the verification. What's, what's that percentage? Like it's almost, I don't know. It's, it's I got to read it up. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's right. primarily what I've been pretty much playing is on the Steam Deck. I've gone, I've downloaded quite a few games just to see how they run. Um, are most games again the only issue is with inscription? Are most games control control based? Like yeah, that's I think that's what gets it the verified Steam Steam stamp. yeah. So like inscription is considered playable, not verified because okay. there's technically no control support for it, which is weird. Again, 
which is weird. five. <laughs> you have to use the mouse pad and everything else out. So like sometimes when it's like, you know, press up to like, you know how you, you would go to see the enemy, yeah, you your scroll, hand, you, you scroll, scroll. It, be, it, it still says W and ASD. Yes, so even though yes, you're using yeah, yeah. the D-pad, oh, okay. it still says, so if that verbiage doesn't change from like a key, a keyword to, or like an actual key to a button layout. So if, if W is not Y or up, that's still considered playable, not verified. Okay. It's sure. odd how they do like, it. Like I said, I had uh, for that. But the game runs flawlessly. Yeah, like I said, yeah. For, that, for that 10 minutes or 15 minutes I played, shot to the, you know, ant build. Uh, it, it ran smooth. I had no issue. Your, like you said, D-pad wasn't that horrendous. Yeah, so uh, I think one of them, well, like so SpongeBob, I, I don't know. I think it was the last podcast I was. Yeah, I'm, you're playing SpongeBob. I'm playing SpongeBob. So I'm trying to beat that game because I started playing a whole bunch of games on the Steam Deck. I'm like, let me beat some of the games I'm already been, I already been focusing on, so I can start going through my catalog on the Steam Deck. Um, SpongeBob, uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom is technically playable, not verified. Due to the fact that if you plug in a controller while it's docked or something, there could be some issues with it um, controlling itself. There's like a Bluetooth error that uh, occurs in the game. Okay. I haven't ran into that issue at all, so mm. I don't know what they're talking about. But if you're going to get a Steam Deck, all because a game doesn't say verified on there, it doesn't mean it doesn't work on there. That's okay. the best way to describe it. Just load it up anyways. See if, you run into in, yeah. see if you run into any issues and then go from there. And if you run into an issue, Google getting this game to run on I Steam Deck. And then there's a, there's a plethora of videos and forums and tutorials how to get certain games to run on the Steam Deck. I will Deck. say that this... Uh Steam community or whatever game yeah, they're, 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 they're super adamant yeah, on all like that what, whatever game you're looking at just you, all you do is just type in the search bar like just type in steam deck and then there's like a whole shit will come there's up there's a whole yeah. bunch of lists so and, and like i said there's games constantly being verified added into the list so you just got to keep an eye out like the multiverse wasn't playable or any of that shit till like a couple days after they released it and then i was like oh look the multiverse is on here and then i was able to is play that it. is that steam issue that they need to take care of or that's the developers issue that they need to take care of to make it playable on it's steam steams because yeah, remember it's it's not a steam issue it's a linux issue yes because all these games are technically developed for windows not linux gotcha okay okay all right but yeah i've been playing that so i've been just i, I don't mean to go on a rant like we normally no, man, do but, this is steam. this is your this is, so i've been playing pretty this much is your show yeah now. i've been pretty much playing uh multiverses uh spongebob squarepants dirt five um we can uh, side note with, this, with the with the multiverse. We can cut this. It was news oriented, but shout out to them because they have like the most concurrent players within that week of release with 180. And it's been good because every player I've jumped on because it gives you like a little PlayStation icon or an Xbox icon if they're on crossplay. console. Yeah, it's crossplay. I didn't know that. So I always get linked with console players. So yeah. There's always people out there to play with, and li literally, if you're if you if you match up to a lobby, within seconds you'll have another game. So okay. the community aspect of the multiplayer has actually been really good. But I've, been, I've been messing with that. I, like I said, I played uh, Alan Wake on there just to test it out. I had issues, so now I'm, I'm going to be finishing that game on my computer. I wonder, unless I get it to run I right here. I wonder if, if uh, the remastered version is way more playable than the... But it's on Epic. So for me to get Epic games to run on here, Got you it. can do it. You, yeah. But there's more finagling to get it running. And that's one of the gripes that some I've heard with some people. It's like, to get some of these games to run, it's not right off the box but normally if you're getting a steam deck you don't mind tweaking to get things mm. to run how you want I'm them anyway pretty sure you can run uh xbox games game pass yeah yeah you, can, yeah, you like, can i've seen people play infinite on there and yeah. stuff like that too so it just doesn't always work flawlessly okay like i've seen people get fall guys to run on here but you can't you it? can but you have to go through the battle um, the that that uh cheat detection software that still hasn't been completely posted on this thing yet wait how are you playing fall guys in the chat with the homies on my computer oh yeah, yeah, yeah. okay For some reason i thought you're okay no i still play my computer yeah because at night and i mean yeah everyone's asleep. yeah everyone's asleep at that Got point you. um but yeah i i i pretty much been testing a whole bunch of games on there i know mm -hmm. jova um when he came over for game night he had a couple hours where he was playing uh uh lord of the rings i don't know if it was not Shadow of War. He was playing Shadow of Mordor. Okay, good game. Um, runs flawlessly yeah. on the fucking. It, it was. It looked amazing on the Steam Deck too, graphic wise. Um, but he he's like, I I think I should pick this game up. I was like, uh, I think you should. should. Again, 
like by far the coolest game. Like that Nemesis system is fucking flawless. I sold them. That's all I sold them on was. Ex- that's all I explained. That's all I. That's all I. I'm not even a Lord of Rings dude. And that that system was like, yo, this is fucking dope. Like fuck the story. I'm just gonna keep let someone rank up to be captain and then fucking fuck them up. And also, are you excited about this Lord of the Rings thing? Yeah. This is a prequel, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. That looks dope. It looks it looks interesting. It, it caught my eye. Now that I've matured in my movie taste, uh, I'm like I should rewatch Lord of the Rings see if I actually like this, which I probably I, I could. You'll like it. Probably like it. But yeah, but I've been playing the Steam Deck. It's been a lot of fun. I really recommend it for those those who are on the fence about buying it. I know Ricky reaching out to him. He was like, he wants to see Charles, the run to Rust. Ricky. I haven't. I don't own Rust, so I can't test it. It does show uh, unsupported on their verification list. There might be someone out there that got it running, but it is a powerful enough machine to run like current games on it. I mean, it's it, it is a. If you're looking at a buy like a next console, for me this is a very viable option. Especially, I want to test this feature out um, where I want to like borrow someone's library just to see how it functions on the steam deck does that make sense because like let's say uh my my neighbor who he's i think he's 13 years old um he he's a big switch owner that's the only console he plays i think his dad has like an old ps3 that they used to run or whatever um but his, his he, he he's looking for more uh, this doesn't sound stupid but he's graduating from like younger kid games I'm gonna say kid games yeah, yeah. He, the younger kid games into more his age style games are more adult based games. So I told him, I was like, Hey, if you get technically, this runs off my steam library. So if you are going to invest in a console, but you don't, you know, I mean, you're a fucking child and I know your parents work, but teenager. they don't are teenager. They don't have a whole bunch of money. If you buy steam deck, I want to test if you can use my library to play some of these games. I don't see why not. I don't see why not either. It, it's, it's uh, I honestly, I don't see why not because it's like fam- family share to share. That's what I'm saying. So share like, library. you just pretty much that. So whenever I'm not playing my steam account, you can play all the games you want on my yeah. account just to see, just to get him to play some games until he builds up his library. Mm. So there's options when it comes to the steam deck. I feel like that should work. No problem. Honestly, yeah, so. no. I had a question, but it went away. Yeah. The only issues I've seen so far with games, it's, it's Alan Wake. But other than that, all the other games I've tested on there, I was gonna flawless. say this is not for me. This is definitely not for me. I'm not a handheld person at all. I, I, I. It's not for me because I'm always on my computer. I, I, I don't have that. Nothing, well, like no, on the train right here, I, I played it. Though, I was playing SpongeBob the uh, whole way here. I mean, it's, it's, it's convenient to be able well, to. I like, guess, have I that. guess for, for me, I, I have so much time on my hands compared to you. Like I, I, I can. If I'm gonna play a game, it's gonna be on my computer. I'm not gonna play it on my Steam Deck. I don't. I don't need this. It is. It is fantastic for you or for a casual gamer or for someone that wants to get into PC gaming or 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 whatever. I don't know about the hardcore gamer that would want this because they already have their PC. Yeah, I'm a hardcore the, gamer, son. You you have challenges at home. If imagine if you had one child, would you still pick this up? Yeah. Why? I'm. You know me. I'm always on my back porch. I'm always outdoors doing something. I'm always on about. It's nice to have. But for that minor interaction that you're going to do like all right let me go back to my oh, PC. i do it more often than than none so it, it, it's my lifestyle choices that yeah like make it beneficial for me to have this okay so yeah because even if i still had the i mean don't like i still have my wife so me and my wife still go out <laughs> uh, yeah you know what i mean if we're on long car rides she could jump on this and play mm. i can jump on it and play if she decides to drive yeah so there's there's benefits for it also it's like a switch you could dock it so if i come <laughs> over to your house i'm like Yo, I've been wanting to play fucking Overcooked. Uh, yeah. And then we all, you Again, can use your PS5 yeah. remotes and then we all jump on. You are correct. We do live different lifestyles, you know, yeah. more of like, I want to sit down and I can't do a handheld. And that's why I think I stopped playing Diablo because some, my girlfriend texted me from time to time. I'm like, oh fuck, I got to exit out the app, text her back. All right, let's get back in. It's, it, even though it comes, no, actually it doesn't. It takes a fucking while because I'm like, oh, hey, you got to log back in. So that's why it stopped me from playing like any phone games in general. I like the idea of them, but I know myself and plus my hands get cramped up. So I'm like, oh, fuck that noise. Just said, hey, use your controller now. So that does eliminate it. But at the same time, it's just I'm not getting texts all the time. But once, once that text happens, I'm out of the zone. So again, I'd rather just play on my computer or, or my console games. Because if someone texts me, all right, I can pause, boom, and get back to what I'm doing, you know? While this, my phone is for, you know, texting and stuff like that. Porn and, you know, all that good stuff. 
Uh, but like I said, this is a cool idea. It's just, it's just not for me, but for the for for other people, I I would still recommend this. For, for oh yeah, I highly recommend. Yeah, it. I would I would still highly recommend it. Like it's a cool. It's a it's a it, it can either be an entry way or for them to get into to graduate to sure uh, or a different way of playing or, exactly different way or graduating to to get into PC gaming. You know, so that that's cool. Like I like this idea. Um, it's awesome. It's something completely fucking different. It's like it's like it's like Switch. You know, it's cool. Um. Now, are we getting to Vita 2? I fucking doubt it, bro. <laughs> you know, that's what you said about, I was looking at, there was a memory. All right, I could play God of War on this technically. Uh, if it if it's not part of this shit, then what's the point? At, at this point, this is the new Vita 2, <laughs> in my opinion. Like, this is a new Vita. I mean, uh, I don't I, I know. I don't know how people feel about emulation, but you can emulate, like, a Vita on here if, mm. if you have the game, pretty much. Because uh, I, uh, I was gonna say it was I saw I saw um, our old memories where I was like, uh, "You think Sora's gonna be in the last Smash?" And then a year later, "Hey, Sora's in the last Smash." And then that memory came up of like, "Do you think we'll get a Vita too?" So I, I I think I'm gonna realistically we probably won't maybe not for a while I don't know until Sony feels froggy and like does something completely different again. Um, but anytime soon I don't I don't, I don't think so. But like you said. And at least for the future, most of my gaming is going to be done on this. So mm. a lot of my reviews out there for people that like or either reviews or like news updates, a lot of it will be based off the Steam Deck. And this thing gets fucking OS updates like fucking crazy. Yeah. Like one of the new best updates came out recently where you can like, they added some like compatibility. Compa they got rid of bugs and everything else out. But like the features that they're adding onto the OS, the updates that they constantly push out there. I mean, it, it is... This is a lot of Steam's focus, which is it's nice because that's what happened with the Vita. Sony fucking didn't focus on their Vita; it died out. Uh, they, they let it there die. is a lot of focus on the Steam Deck, so it's it is that it, it I, is nice having that support uh, from the company. And then again, Steam doesn't do shit really, so like this is something new. For well, actually, no, I take it back. They did uh, what was that one thing they did? The VR. They did uh, before the VR. The Steam controller. There you go. Oh okay, yeah. Come with the Steam controller? Yeah. Yes. They it did was, the Steam controller. It was a system. No, they had a like a box that you can stream your library from. Ah. Yeah, yeah, but it wasn't a console. Okay. For the most part, it's kind of like you know the uh, I think PS the Vita did it. It was like a PlayStation Steam, a Vita Link, like a Vita Link. Yeah, it was Vita, it was Vita TV. Vita TV. That's what it was similar to that. Okay. Pretty okay, much. Yeah. 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 Uh, but it's it's weird. Steam doesn't do shit really besides uh, Dota money and Counter Strike money. <laughs> That's about it, really. Uh, but it, it, again, I'm with it. I like I like change. I like I like when again, Steam doesn't do anything, anything. Um, when they do when they do put out stuff, it's weird. If, if they they put out something, they test out the waters like for a couple months, see if it's uh if it if it if people grasp it. Um, and, and a lot it, of people sleep on them. To be honest with you, like the Steam Deck controller, I've actually used it, mm. or not Steam, the Steam controller. The Steam controller, okay. I've actually used it. It was like, in my opinion, one of the best controllers yeah. for yeah, because just heard the way it opposite. felt. Yeah. Um, I like the the touchpad on it was great, uh -huh. great feedback on it. Um, it was comfortable in your hands, um, and you can play your Steam games without having to use an Xbox. I mean, Xbox 360 or Xbox One controllers are still preferred. Yeah. But if I, I I would prefer to have the Steam controller over the Xbox 360 controller if I didn't have it. Okay. Um, their VR has always been very top notch. It's one of the best. VR headsets you can buy for quality wise and also the 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 what do you call it the vision the vision of it yeah yeah so like the screens on there are very high quality um the steam deck is another one that's out there now so mm. they they do they take a lot of focus and care to their products yeah. which I, I appreciate and a lot of people sleep on them because I think it's there's it, other options out there, but yeah, these it, options are actually very valid options. Yeah, and also pri price wise as well. So, and pl plus this is kind of scarce too. So people do want it. I want to say they're, they're sleeping on it. They just can't get their hands on it. You know? Cause I've seen the internet. It's like, yo, I want my fucking steam deck. Yo, I want, I want my VR, but I can't get it either because it's expensive or it's out of stock. They, well, they're, they're, yeah, they're, they're fucking VR sets. Like a thousand, a thousand. bucks. So like that's a little pricey. So like you are right quality, but there are, there are other better options, you know? Uh, again, I have the Oculus VR. I would still recommend that. That's still a fucking good uh, VR unit. I don't know what the uh, the uh, yes, VR uh, is like, but I'll still recommend those choices. Like I yeah, there's choices out there. Choices, I, I guess I'm saying is I wouldn't recommend the 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 
their their VR because it's really pricey. You got to spend a, a thousand bucks. That's not gonna me telling that to some rando like, hey, you should get a fucking VR. Oh, how much? You got to spend a thousand. Uh, fuck you, suck I my dick. You. Like, so it's 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 a hard it's a hard sell. Um, I'm a quality whore. Yeah, I know. I know. I get it. Um, I, I, again, like for me, for VR is like I I, I guess I kind of didn't care. I was like, whatever version I get, because most of the games there, there are minor exclusives, but. I really didn't care. Actually, there wasn't exclusives because I can technically play um, uh, uh, Alex VR because I have a VR unit. So there aren't really exclusive games compared to the Oculus. Actually, there is because you can only play uh, Resident Evil Four in VR. Uh, can't do it. You can't do it on a uh, Steam Market. And also, um, I lost my train of thought. There was one more. Um, um, uh, PlayStation has uh, Resident Village. Evil Village. No. Yeah, Village. It's not Village. Seven. Thank you. Seven. Uh, no. Six. No. Seven. Seven, it, seven is a village. Biohazard. I know, I'm thinking but, it, it, yeah. it's, a, it's a sequel <laughs> to Village, so that's what's going to throw me off. But only, seven. only that one is on PlayStation. I'm, I'm dying. I'm hoping it'll come over the PC, but I highly doubt it, it. It won't. So there are very minor exclusives, but whatever VR headset you will get, you are going to be fucking. You're gonna be okay because Steam library or the the, the VR. I just market. like Steam products. I'm a I, mm. I like sticking with the products mm. that one company comes out with, especially if it's something that I, I agree. With. Like I have a buddy Frankie who loves Yeti. He's a Yeti whore. whore. Like everything he owns they're is Yeti. Good, they're good products. They're good I mean, product. You know I mean, we got them right here. You know. So, so. I meant Yeti as in the cooler. Oh, uh, stuff. <laughs> but yes, I, I mean, know what you mean. Technically, are Yeti. These so. are Yeti technically. So I, uh, I agree. I wow, you're right. I do you think are they this? No, no, these are snow. No. They're not the same company. No, different. no, I don't. I think they're different. Yeah. Oh. We could we could research it. Yeah, on yeah. But yeah, those are the games I'm pretty much playing. Okay. Like I said, I multiverse. If I had to talk about a game that I've been playing a lot, has been kind of we're all over the place. Is SpongeBob SquarePants? Yeah, we're great Steam. platform. But been I, I'm almost done with it. I got one last stage. I'm in SpongeBob's Dreams World, which is I think it's added for the the reboot, or not the reboot, the uh the remaster of it. Um, once I'm done with that one, I want to finish Island Wake on the computer. Get that one done. <laughs> yeah, I, got, I got to play that one on the computer. <laughs> but I want to try the other protons to see if I can get that issue to go away so I can play it on the Steam Deck. Um, and I've been playing multiverses like crazy. Just, it's, it's a lot of fun. If you, can you give, uh, this is uh, our first uh, Never Game Over podcast review uh, score. If you can give this a score, what would you, <laughs> what would you give this? What am I scoring it based off? Uh, out of 10, out of 5? Uh, what, what system... How, what's Am our, I comparing it to a system? What, no, no. I said, what's our what is our system? Would you want you want to do five out of ten? We want to do ten out of ten. We we'll do, do five out of ten. You want to do a hundred out of ten? Five out of ten. We'll do um piece of shit to like uh Chef Ramsay impress. Like, how do you want to do this scale? We we'll do five out of ten. Want to do five out of ten? All right. I Chino's, give it a five. Chino, Chino's review for the Steam Deck. What would you give it? A big five. Big five. Yeah. Big five out of. Five out of five. Five wow. out of five. Five out. You you heard it here, folks. You heard it here. First review. Wow. How does it feel? Do, Pretty good. Do Pretty do, good. Do, do a first review. Ex- we don't do reviews, but we don't. I mean, for something like this that people are having issues getting their hands on, and mm-hmm. a lot of people don't own. Like I said, I still don't know another person that owns one of these things. So yeah, I don't know anyone besides you. Yeah, so I'm so. saying five out of five. Five out of five. There you go, folks. Five out of five. First for. 10 out of 10. If they, 10 out of 10. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 100 out of 100? 100 out of 100. Uh, Chef Ramsey approval? Yes. Here we go. Wow. Great. 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 You want to move on to the news? Or? Moving on to the news. Uh, speaking about VR, there you go. It's already popped up. Uh, but, but, okay, we're picking. Nope. One more over. One more. He's having technical difficulty. We're going to. What, what, what you want you're picking? All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, speaking of VR, uh, the Oculus Quest 2 is getting an increase, an increase uh, in pricing. Uh, initially, it cost, no, a uh, second. Initially, it cost uh, $299 for the, uh, what did I pay? Yeah, two, it cost $299 for the $128, and it cost uh, $400 for the $256. Now, that will be the $399 would be $128, and the $499 will be the 250 gigs. So a hundred dollar increase. Um, they, the reasoning is uh, paraphrasing uh, basically. Uh, By adjusting the price of the Quest 2, we can continue to grow our investments in groundbreaking research and new product development that pushes the VR industry to new heights. 
So pretty much the justification for it is they're trying to reach new grounds in VR, so they they need funds. So, pretty much, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Which I'm not mad at, but uh, I thought it was an, uh, I thought I read it was inflation as well uh, that could be uh, a factor in it, which. Uh, we're at a fucking high. Yeah, we're in inflation. It's fucking we're crazy. In a recession. So yeah, I mean, yeah, it, yes. it, 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 there could be other factors that we don't know about. Um, but but I find that interesting. That because I don't think anyone has increased their console before. I'm, I'm trying to think. They're usually opposite. Like, hey, our console's down. Like, oh fuck, it went bad. Right. Like, we're not doing enough sales. Let's let's dumb it down. Um. And then also there was a quote. Or, or I think a shareholder was like, hey, Sony, you, you are you going to do this too? Uh, and same thing with Microsoft. They're like, no, Microsoft had no, either. I think both parties were like, no comment. So, but I don't think they would do that because first of all, both those two consoles are hard enough to get already. Yeah, they are selling. Yeah, I don't think they should. If the console is already hard to get, don't increase the prices. Just leave the product, or not the production, like leave the availability as is. If mm. we already got to suffer with availability mm-hmm. why do why availability and not yeah, prices I, yeah. again i i mean i i do not think they will increase it again sony's sales numbers are pretty stellar with we're gonna cover that one yeah uh so sony's numbers are pretty stellar they sold like another 10 10 mil uh, on their their world revenue um i didn't see their stock sheets but they're they're selling re- fairly well like you don't really need to increase again it's already hard enough to come by to get one um along with with uh microsoft so i i don't think they will will increase um and also i think i said this before in previous pods like uh oculus is selling pretty stellar as well um it is a bummer that they they increased but i guess you got to do what you got to do to stay afloat you know so uh, next sort of news, August PlayStation Plus is a fucking stellar one. Really, really, really good. I was so hyped about this. You got Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2, the remastered version uh, that's out. And you have Yakuza Like a Dragon, phenomenal, turn-based, something completely different from the Yakuza, Yakuza series. Yakuza and, series. Yakuza, excuse me. Yakuza series and Little Nightmares. Um, for the PlayStation, I mean, for Tony Hawk, you can either play the PS5 version or PS4 version. Uh, same thing with uh, Yakuza, uh, PS5 or PS4. Only version for Little Nightmares is PS4. I played Tony Hawk Pro Skater a little bit, 15 minutes. I was like, ah, yes, feels amazing, fluid. Um, it 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 literally feels like Tony Hawk PlayStation One era. Like, holy fuck and shit. It it, it it's good. It's good. I can that's all I can really speak about. Um, highly recommend that game. Highly recommend Yakuza Like a Dragon. Again, something completely different from the Yakuza. You, Yakuza. 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 Sorry, Yakuza's. Um, from the series, it's a turn-based, which is really good. Uh, I, I, I totally like it. It is. It's a play on. Uh, it's a play on from um, because he's a big gamer, but he's a Yakuza, uh, so like he sees himself as like a Dragon Quest character. He's like, oh, I gotta get this health, and like you see like health, like like a health bar, but it's really a, a beer, but he correlates to that. It's a fucking wild, cool series. I really need to get back into that game. I might restart uh, just for the shits and gigs. I put like set, not, no, probably like 20 hours, but that's not far along. I might just pick it up again um, or, or, or or just pick it up from where I left off. Um, those are, again, really good PlayStation Plus games. Um, I'm excited for this is that GTA 6 will take place in Miami and will have a female protagonist. Um, I'm excited about this. Um, we haven't gotten a new GTA game in 10, year- <laughs> 10 years. They did say they are uh, they were in early development. They started developing this in 2015. Um, we're in 2020 right now. Who fuck knows when it's going to come out. When this is going to come out. Um, for you, we'll does this interest you? This is something different. No, still nothing. Like you're still like whatever GTA. You don't care. Nothing. No input. Not, just. I will say Miami. Uh, uh, what, is that the name of the third one or the Miami Vice or Vice City? Vice City. Vice City is the only Grand Theft Auto I've ever beaten. Mm-hmm. So I mean, I enjoyed it. I like the Scarface throwbacks that they would put in there. Um, but for the most part, I would say I I still haven't even fucking really paid through the story of the fifth one let me let me get through that first and i'll tell you if i get hyped about this which one the fifth one you'll be there for a while yeah i know so 
uh, I'm excited for it to see, but I'm, it's like I said, if it was some LA Nor news or some Nor news, and I'm down. But another GTA. Uh, the woman is Latina. Will be uh will be one of pairing leading characters in story influenced by the bank robbers Bonnie and Clyde. Who said developers are also being cautious not to punch down by making jokes about uh marginalized marginalized well marginalized group. Uh, the people said in contrast in two previous games. So this is another factor. Um. They're getting a little bit more woke. Yeah, and that's what the internet was freaking out. Um, someone made a good point in a previous podcast. Is like we were the people that grew up with GTA were like in their sixteen, and that was like their fucking market, you know. Um, another big factor. Well, let me continue that. Uh, uh they, they gotta grow up basically. You know, like you can't do the same trope, jokey yeah, yeah. joke. And I agree. You know? I agree with it. Yeah. Um, I'm not mad at it. G- GTA is still gonna be GTA. You know. It's still going to be some crazy shit. Yeah, they're, they're just like choosing not to. They're trying to hold back their punches a bit. That's yeah, and is. their punches were like they, they were eye rolly. Like you, you had your obviously gay jokes. You had your, uh, you had your, um, I think you had race your, jokes. Your, your race jokes. You had your all. They they attacked everyone. No one was safe. It's a South Park thing. They attack everyone. Yeah, it's funny, but it, it more or less was more eye rolly. Like ah, whatever. Like it, it, it's 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 old. Uh, and also, like you, another big factor is like you got your your. One, of, I think I believe it's the Hauser brothers. Like they're the writers for GTA. One of them left. So like, how's that writing team gonna be? I think one of the Hauser brothers are doing something else. So like, you got a new writing team. I'm assuming like he. I'm assuming he will be on it, but not as much, you know, as the writing. So it's it's a new generation. It's like the Mass Effect thing. Like um, the Mass Effect. The the I think they're called the uh, they're le- legit doctors. They they wrote Mass Effect, but. That team, that whole writing team is fucking gone now. So, like, we're getting a new Mass Effect. So, what's that writing going to be like? So, I, I am curious. Um, I'm not really concerned about their racial jokey jokes or yeah, me their gay, it's, gay it's jokes. GTA, I, I so. want the game to be good. Um, I want it to be good. And, and, and the thing is, I don't know what I want from a GTA. Like, they usually bring something different, which, which I'm usually glad about, but... The, the the writing is always it writing's okay. I've never been turned off or I think the best GTA for me personally, I think it was four. Four was really, really good. I really liked that story a lot. Um San Andreas was okay. It was just a spin-off of like fucking Don't Be a Menace in Society or like um what's the other one? Don't be a menace in society and then there's another uh, uh Boys in the Hood, basically. So I was like, okay, cool. It's still good, but I was like, I know I know what you guys are going for. Miami Vice Vice City was Scarface. Scarface pretty much. Um yeah. But GT uh, four was like an original, like, hey, I'm a I'm a I'm a foreigner coming to America, trying to learn how to live, and you know, obviously shit escalates. I'm in New York City, which is fucking bomb. So that that was cool. Five was five was okay. I need to replay it. I wasn't wild, but I was more wild about the world. You know, the things you can do. Like, oh shit, no load times. You know, they they hammered that down. And with this Miami, uh, going back to to. Uh, Miami was is pretty cool, and they also said they want to like factor in what they do with Fortnite is like having a world building. Like, hey, here's expansions, here's this. They want you to travel, um, possibly to back to New York. That'd be that'd be pretty fucking cool. Um, and having a female uh, protagonist because people were always like, oh, this is a man's world. Like, no, man, females can be like fucking badass just as Ruthless. well. Yeah, yeah, like there are some. Uh, what's that? Uh, it's, a, it's a Cuban show on FX. I forgot her name. The the Queen. Ooh, Queen of the South. Nope, not Queen. I'm thinking of something. Else. But anyway, more or less what I'm saying is there are badass female characters getting that fuck up men just as well. So, uh, I, 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 me personally, I am excited for, for this. Again, we have no idea when this is going to fucking drop 2025 latest. Um, but I got my eye on this. Uh, we got some Steam Deck news. Uh, Returnal, not official, but there's some uh, listing going on that could possibly come to PC and would be supportive for uh, Steam Deck, Steam Deck, which is pretty cool. Um, excited for that. Oh, well, I'm just, I mean, you're you're more excited, but ex- yeah, I'm excited to test it out. Uh, I'm already especially play- that it's like game specific going in mind trying to go Steam Deck ready. You know uh-huh. what I mean? So it's like people are looking at the console like, hey, we want to put some games out there as well. Uh, basically, just I'm just scrolling through. There's nothing really to say, but there was like they found user user uh, Steam DD. It was someone discovered it. Codename Oregon was discovered on Steam DB in May, uh, and they found some. Scroll down. 
Uh, they found some what uh, updates. Uh, yeah. yeah, like eighty. I don't even know what the fucking. Oh, this is t time frames. These are. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, it, some weird. It, more or less, it could. It could I, be coming. I, it could yeah. be coming, and I. I think we always chanted this that. Uh, 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 brain fart that Sony wanted to get into the PC market yeah. slowly. So we we got we got a uh, we're starting to see that more we often. Got Horizon. We got um, God of War. God of War. Um, and we could jump to the other news article, which is the Last of Us. Is Last coming of Us out. is probably possibly coming over to fairly soon. So they're they're slowly approaching that PC market compared to Microsoft. We're like, yo, fucking, they're just all we're, in. We're yeah. in it. We're in it. Which I get because. They don't want to be the same, samey. They want to be different. Like we want, we want our console players. Yeah, they want to reach that PC market, which are slowly understanding. But their bread and butter is fucking on the console. Same thing with Nintendo Switch. They don't need their fucking games on PC. Like I like we 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 already have that market. We know yeah. you are gonna pay for this game on Nintendo. You know, so I I, I get it. Um, I am fucking hyped. We're getting we're getting a uh showcase next. Week? What are we in? Next week. Next week? Thursday, August 23rd. Bungie showcase. Next expansion. The fucking pyramids are coming. They're here. They're whoa, I'm not gonna say the other one. Uh <laughs> uh, I am hyped. We get uh new subclass, new uh season coming out. This would be the fire subclass getting its final it's no. So the arc. Arc, well, arc, arc, arc. arc. So yeah, arc 3.0 is coming out and uh all, all in one, we're getting. They're gonna show off the new season. Obviously, season 18 is popping off, along with a uh, new arc 3.0, which I'm really curious about. Um, and then also Lightfall. So this should be like probably like an hour's worth of showcasing. So I am excited. I'm more excited about what the uh, subclass is. Apparently, it's green, so it could be poison effects or it could be some sort of decaying effect. Uh, and that, that's all. That's, that's all I'm... Yeah, we'll find out more. I, I am really, yeah. really, really, really excited about this. Uh, I, I don't know what to expect. Um, I'm going to be on it. I'm still on my Destiny break because I've been playing a lot of God of War, but I can always repeat myself that... Yeah, I, you always go come I back always, to it. I always come back. I, I'll do like a good six-month fucking strong uh, shebang. And um, yeah, dude, I'm, I'm excited about this story. The fucking pyramids are finally here and I'm freaking out. <laughs> I don't I don't know because I've been harping on this since D1, bro. So it's like they're finally fucking here after five years. So I'm just like, what the fuck, man? So I'm really, 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 really excited. A big I'm a big Destiny fan. I cannot wait. Does this excite you? Um yes, no, kind of sort does. of. I mean, I I I like that they were upgrading the subclasses. Uh, I want to see what the arc one does. I'm not as hype as about it for as you are uh, um i'm more up I, I got another news thing to talk about after this so i forgot to uh bring up yeah. that i'm more hyped about but um i'm hyped but not okay. as hyped you're, as you you're, you're, yeah, you're, i'm interested yes i'll say you're you're more interested to hear what i gotta say or what yeah. i gotta show you like oh check this shit out yeah. like, this should intrigue you um because I, I feel like now that you have your Steam Deck, I feel like you play more Destiny. <laughs> I would. Yeah, yeah I'm I saying, would. Yeah. yeah, but you can't, but I'm assuming there's a loophole you got to find. Um, it is playable on there, but I forgot how to do it. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, like I said, if you could play this, you'd definitely play with me. Yeah, I'll jump on it. Like mm -hmm. I said, I still got to finish some of the other stories that I got left to do. Um, mm -hmm. That way I can get caught up. But I eventually do want to see what happens to the whole Destiny lore. I'll send you a two-hour video. Of the breakdown store now. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll watch it. I'll watch it. So send it to me. Oh boy! But one of the news that we didn't bring up here. Did you see the Pokemon Direct? No, I didn't. I missed that. Uh, what? You, please tell me. I saw it in chat. You guys were hyping it up. I did see it. Yeah. So they released. So they had a Pokemon Direct. I think it was last week. Um, it was involving a lot of updates like they normally do with all their other games. Their big showcase was Pokemon Violet and Scarlet. Yes. Um, but just. Uh, to celebrate, I think it's like an uh, anniversary of Pokemon Unite. They gave out some oh. uh, Hollowware to uh, some of the starting people. Like Pikachu got one, Snorlax gets one, Lucario gets one, and somebody else gets one. So uh, uh, my my boy. No, but there is but you, uh, there is free Hollowware to collect, and they do have another season starting. Uh, but I mean, what they were there, what well, everyone there was focusing on was the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet news. Bro, yeah, th 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 this Pokemon is hype. Will I be intrigued? Yes, yes. yes. I will be. So I know how you liked the 
exploration yes. of Pokemon Legends, Arceus yeah, Legends, Arceus, where yes. you ran around. Yes. So the entire game is just like that, okay. where you run around. You're not in. You're in the up an updated world. You're not in the past. Um, you're more in modern times. Um, but it's open world. You run around. There's Pokemon that you can collect just like you do in Legends Fighting Arceus. Other people too. It's multiplayer, so you can play the whole game and up to with up to four people. Huh. So there's online multiplayer where we can go out and do like quests together. We can go catch Pokemon together. We can battle out together. So like Monster uh, Hunter, in a way. That's a good way to describe it. Yes. Um. But with new Pokemon being added, the new I, I forgot what they call it. it ter- Terrorization. It's pretty much like the Pokemon become crystals, like gems, and then they they can change their typing depending if they go into this form. I mean. Jovo was really hyped about it. I was on the fence about it, but after watching that most recent trailer, I'm pretty hyped about so, it. So, when you say multiplayer, well, is, I'm assuming, is there going to be boss Pokemon in here? Cause I, don't do, know, I don't you... know if there's going to be boss Pokemon, but I know that there's, there's, there's separate storylines now. There's like a main, you go get your gym badges like you normally would do. Then there's like an actual like story that you would take, kind of like how Legends Arceus was, where there were boss Pokemon, there were, you know, side quests and quests you got to go do. That is all included with the same gameplay of going to collecting eight badges. But the cool thing about this, you can collect all the any of the eight badges in any order you want. Cool. So cool, cool, cool. it's 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 a lot more open to whatever choices you want to make. Could you could you could me and you hang and collect my badges? Yeah, yeah together? we can go around. Oh, yeah, okay, we okay. can go around. So there's no gate. There's no gate. We we could jump into well, each other's games and just run around together. So okay. I'm pretty hyped about that feature. Because when you say four player co op, I was like, all right, cool. That that would be fun. I'm pretty sure, sure you'll merc things, but like, all right, what's the end game like? You know, like where are, is it gonna be world? I was gonna say bosses. Yeah, there's gonna be world bosses. There's gonna be like Maybe. dungeons. Uh, there, there? there could be. That's uh, that's where the game looks like it's leaning more towards. So I then we can go and collect these the, those. That, I wish I knew terrorized or terrorization Pokemon. We can go and like capture them together. So like it could be off like you, me, Jova and James jump on. We're trying to get these rare Pokemon and we go fight these rare Pokemon bosses together. Pretty much. If they feel like they're combination, they're finding Pokemon go and looking at some live service games, like sure. Destiny, for example, uh, that's pretty cool and different. See, that's, and so that's, that's what I'm saying. I, that's why I thought that's, you would be interested in it because it's not your traditional Pokemon yes, game. And, it's something that you would, in my opinion, enjoy. Uh, Cause I always told him like, oh, yeah, I told Pokemon, <laughs> wrote him an email. <laughs> I always said to myself, I was like, what, what, uh, what time I gotta leave? Soon. Okay. I always told myself, uh, what, what, they need to switch it up, but I do not know what that is. You guys figure it out. I am a mildly a Pokemon fan. I do like your games, but it's the same shit every time. Now it's, this one's completely this different. Is, and that's yeah, why, yeah. You, and you always said like, hey, it, it technically is different, but I don't see that. It's it. I guess for me, it's a small thing. I want a fucking drastic overhaul change of a Pokemon game. Yes, this definitely does interest me, and I probably check it out. Check out the trailer, or I, I, actually, I, I won't. I like you kind of sold me. I'm. I'm yeah, What's yeah. the uh, release date? This November? I, named, I, I don't remember. Um, I know it's this year, It's right? this year, I yeah. believe. Yeah, sometime like, later this year. I just don't remember what date like it was. Either no, it has to be November, at least. At least November. Yeah, if they shot it off, because I highly, highly doubt it's going to come next month or so. I feel like it's a November release. But I'm excited for it, so. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's in, intriguing. Um, We'll wrap this up real quick, but uh, tell, what time is it? One t- it's 12.30. What time are you going to be there? I got to be there by like one thirteen. Okay, uh, quick story. Took I hung on Blaine uh, yesterday, two, two days ago, Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. Took him to Monster Arcade. Fucking love that place with a passion. He has never been there. He's like, whoa, this is amazing. Um, showed him all the games. You know, we were having fun, kicking ass, playing games together, fought each other, played Tekken, played Mortal Kombat. He won, I won, whatever. Um, and then I was like, oh, hey, let's play some uh, Smash. And long story short, I won. I won. You won? I, beat him. I beat him with Gandorf. There you go. So I'm a fucking go. pro. I beat Jova. Uh, fuck you. And I beat uh, Blaine. Blaine. Uh, so suck my dick. I'm a professional. Um, the last two people you got to fight is me and Sam. No, I retired. I'm <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. I'm I'm a, I'm a <laughs> retire on top. I don't need to. Pro- I don't need to prove to you or Sam. I already. I'm already two for two. So why? You're right. You're right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you're right. Uh, Sam, you're trash anyway. So I can. 
definitely beat you. He doesn't see this. So the fun thing is, I love talking shit on the pod because no one ever sees this. They don't watch our shit, which is great. So I can talk mad shit. There you go. Until unless they I, do see it. Unless I tag them. Sometimes I tag. Actually, I, I, I usually I usually tell them. Um, yeah, that's the news. That's the show. Fantastic fucking show. Video games, gaming news, Steam Deck news, Steam Deck news, everything. Oh, it's fan, fantastic. It's all, Always, always love doing this. Always, always. It's always fucking fun. I do cherish this shit. Fun. Um, be sure to check out the pod as per usual. The other content on this, the YouTube channel. I'm playing through some Metal Gear. Uh, uh, Metal Gear Solid on Extreme. I'm having a blast. I'm getting my ass kicked. Um, playing some Cuphead as well. Uh, and yeah, that's 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 it. Be sure to, to download... Uh, Internal command, initial command, initial command. No, internal command. Internal. I did get right. Internal commands album, fucking fire. Still on repeat. Still playing that shit. Um, and yeah. Uh, any closing thoughts for you? Anything? No, I'm gonna finish SpongeBob, so that, that game will be done with. Uh, I'll go through other games. I know Alan Wake's on my list. I haven't ran through that game. Um, and I'll update you on anything else I play. Just make sure you send us any questions you have to our Instagrams or our email at nevergameoverpod at gmail.com and get out there and play some games. Peace out, cocksuckers. <laughs>